This is the ultimate carnival craving made even better. Deep fried funnel cakes covered in powdered sugar and then transformed into an ice cream sandwich. Oh my gosh, now I finally know what dessert heaven tastes like. When we saw the LA ice cream shop Quinnell Ice Q debuted their magical dessert hybrid, a funnel cake ice cream sandwich, we knew it had to be next on our to-do list for Eat the Trend. I mean, how could we not? So I'm gonna start by softening my vanilla bean ice cream in a bowl. It's still frozen, I'm just kind of breaking it up with a spatula. And then over here, I'm gonna whip our heavy whipping cream until it forms soft cakes. Now we're gonna add our strawberry preserves. We got the preserves that has real fruit in it because what's nice is when you're eating your ice cream sandwich, you're gonna have those little pieces of strawberry seeds. And you can actually see the little chunks of fruit too. Carefully fold that in. That's the consistency we want. Okay, we are ready to fold in our whipped cream. And you really wanna fold in your whipped cream nice and gently because you wanna keep all that air that you worked so hard to incorporate into it. And what's great about this ice cream is it's gonna be so light and fluffy, which is perfect for the funnel cake because you don't wanna bite into the funnel cake and have a huge hard piece of ice cream. Looking good. Now I'm just gonna put this onto a baking sheet that I've lined with plastic wrap. And then using the back of my spatula, I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and even and pop this into the freezer overnight. I just know this is going to be the perfect breakfast, right? So I'm just gonna start by beating my eggs and sugar and then I'm gonna slowly incorporate my milk. And then to our flour, we're gonna add our baking powder and salt, give it a mix. And now I'm just gonna slowly add my flour to my milk and egg and sugar mixture. And just mix it on a medium speed until it's nice and smooth. All right, let's get this party started. So our funnel cake batter is good to go. I've already been preheating my oil to 350 degrees, and you only need about an inch of oil. Now a great way to test to see if your oil is hot enough and ready, just take a little bit of that batter and drop it into the oil. And what you're looking for is for it to kind of bounce right back up to the surface, start sizzling up and getting brown. And there we go, perfect. Now these are funnel cakes after all, so we need a funnel. And to help move that batter along, you just wanna spray the inside with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. Using your finger, you're just gonna plug the bottom of your funnel so nothing comes out just yet. And then once the funnel is over the hot oil, I'm gonna remove my finger and create our funnel cake. And we only want these to be about three inches wide because we're making those cute little funnel cake ice cream sandwiches. There we go. Now what we're looking for is for the bottom to get a nice golden brown, so it might only take about 90 seconds, or even 60 seconds, and then we're gonna flip it over and cook the rest. And once it's golden brown on both sides, I'm just gonna take it out with a slotted spoon, let it drain, and then put it on a paper towel lined plate. Now keep going until you have a pile of yummy cakes. So I just got my ice cream from the freezer and I'm gonna use this biscuit cutter to make these adorable round ice cream patties. And using that plastic wrap or parchment paper is a huge help. Oh, there we go. All right, and I'm just gonna put it directly on top of my funnel cake. Put another guy right on top. Oh my God, that is insane. Now I just need to add the final touch, powdered sugar, because you can't have a funnel cake without powdered sugar. Oh, this is begging to be bitten. Mm. Oh my goodness, this sandwich is so good. The ice cream is so light and creamy. And who doesn't like some fried dough with a little powdered sugar? <laughs> All right, guys, I would love to know what your favorite carnival food is in the comment box below. And we just might feature it on the next episode of Eat the Trend. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.